The CEO of North America's largest gold mining operation has a few ideas on how gold can outwit cryptocurrencies, and we're going to be talking about that in today's video. Welcome back, guys, to the Independent Experience. I'm NDXP Bullion, and this is your morning market wake-up call for Friday, May 7th, 2021. Let's go ahead and jump right on in and see where we're going to be starting today off at. Gold is up nicely. It has broken through that $1,800 mark. Hopefully it's on its way towards bigger and better things. Currently at 28 $26.63. Silver made an awesome push yesterday. It was up almost a dollar. Currently at $27.41. That gives us a ratio of $66.65. Platinum is up slightly, currently at 12.6708. Palladium is down, but I do expect it to go back up here soon. Currently at 29.6325. And rhodium is down, currently at 27,900. We've seen gains in pretty much all base metals. Copper is up, currently at 466. Nickel also up at 818. Aluminum up nicely at $1.14, zinc at $1.34, and lead is just a tick over a buck at a dollar even. Crude oil is down slightly, currently at $64.72 a barrel. We did see gains on Wall Street yesterday, some decent gains actually. The Dow Jones was up 318 points, closing out the day at 34,500. 48.53. The NASDAQ was up 50 points, 13.632.84. And the S&P 500 was up 34 points at 4201.62. The US dollar index has slid some under that 91 point, currently at 90.84. In cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin is steady, currently at 56.632.04. And Dogecoin is up a penny at 62 cents. If you guys trade in the gold back, whether that be the Utah, the Nevada, or the New Hampshire, those are exchanging for $3.79 this morning. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the CEO of North America's largest gold mining operation has some ideas on how gold can get past Bitcoin. This comes to us as an interview from Michael McRae over at Kitco News. It is titled Barrett Gold's Mark Bristow on how to outflank Bitcoin. The cryptocurrency boom has made the precious metals industry realize that it has to work harder, said Barrick Gold CEO Mark Bristow in a talk with Kitco on Wednesday. This is just two days ago Wednesday. The senior gold miner released its Q1 today, which reported a 78% jump in its first quarter profit, smashing analyst expectations. Bitcoin has stolen some of gold's thunder. While Bitcoin has run from under 8,000 to over 50,000 in just a year, gold is mired in the $1,700 to $1,850 trading range after last year's run-up. Like it's done in the past, Bristow said gold has to innovate. Quote, gold is still too hard to own and to trade. The ETFs where were a big boon to our industry. A lot of miners felt that it would negatively impact the equities. It, had, it was completely the opposite though. It grew the industry and made it more transparent. It allowed people to trade, Bristow said. Quote, the cryptocurrencies and the others competing options have forced us to realize that we need to work harder to create a fungible, option that allows every person in the world to use it to trade for items. Regarding the company's 50-50 Donlin project with Nova Gold, which we've talked about on this channel before as well, uh, Bristow said uh, Barrick has started putting the gold into proper geological units and the company can start plotting its next steps. So it sounds like they are looking for uh, a way to get gold into people's hands and to make it easier to trade. And you know what? I don't think there's any better way of 
finding those, finding that way, they've already got it. They just got to make it better. And that would be the gold back, of course. We have talked about the gold back on this channel for a couple years now. And uh, of course, you, if you guys are longtime followers of the channel, know that we are big proponents of the gold back. And I would love, and of course, we're here in Indianapolis and in Indiana. I would love for Indiana to have a gold back program. I think it would be a wonderful option for, for our communities and really any community. And this, this program will work in any of the 50 states, any of them. There's, there's no doubt in my mind that this will work if you made it available. Now, will the federal government ever get on board with the gold back? If enough states get on board with the gold back program, I think the federal government might be a little bit more receptive to the idea, but you would have to have a lot of states on board. Now, the gold back program has been out now for about two years, uh, starting with Utah in 2019, uh, and then Nevada rolled out uh, last year, and then New Hampshire, I believe, was at the beginning of this year, New Hampshire rolled out with theirs. So, uh, we've got three states on board. Haven't heard any news yet on what the next or who the next state's going to be, but this is going to be a great way to get gold in the hands of people and make it to where they can use it as currency for trading, bartering, and purchasing of goods. I would love to know what you guys think down below. Is this going to be a good way for Barrick to go? Should they be funding a... Personally, I feel like they should be funding a outlet with with Aurorum, um, which is the uh, Aurorum, that, that's the uh, company that makes the gold back. Um, they make uh, gold backs for other countries as well. They're not called gold backs, of course, but uh, they have their own currency names. But is it some, is it worthwhile for Barrick to get in um, now with the with companies like this, or maybe even start their own company, start their own gold back style company to get gold into the hands of everyday consumers? Let me know down in the comments below. Speaking of gold backs, you know, something we haven't done on this channel for quite some time is Free Gold Friday. That's right, everyone. Free Gold Fridays are back. You guys have a chance to win this gold back right here. This actual one could be yours. And how do you do it? If you're new to the channel and you haven't participated in Free Gold Friday before, what you need to do is post a comment down below that contains the secret word. And what should we make the secret word today? Let's just go ahead and make it easy. Let's go make it gold back. Gold back is all one word. Gold back is the secret word. Your comment down below must contain the word gold back. We're going to do a random comment picker on our next video, which hopefully is Monday. And uh, we will get this sent out to the winner. All right. You guys have your directives. Make sure your comment includes the secret word. Guys, I do greatly appreciate every single one of you. And if you haven't been new to the independent experience, whew, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button right down there. If you happen to like today's video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button right there for me. It helps me out immensely. If you want to catch up on the back catalog, of course, we're going to pop the box up on this side of the screen right here. This is going to be the gateway to the back catalog of around 450 videos now. You can start clicking through those at your heart's content at the end of this one. Guys, I have been Indie XP Bullion from the Independent Experience, and I'm here again to remind you, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find your pockets heavy.